Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome everybody to the Aspiring Authors Lab Morning Show. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm Gertrude J. Chapman, your number one inspirational book coach. And I have taught hundreds of women how to successfully write their books and generate revenue. And that's something that I could teach you also. So hit the share button and share this broadcast out with your friends. Now, the theme for this month is developing a wealthy mindset. Developing a wealthy mindset. And we're going to talk about today, respect your uniqueness and drop comparison. Respect your uniqueness and drop comparison. And that's something, you know, very important that, you know, aspiring authors should think about. To respect their uniqueness. Have a sense of worth of your unique abilities. That's very important when you acknowledge and accept your differences. You know, because those things make you you. It makes you who you are. Always appreciate the skin you're in. There's only one you and there'll never be another. Never. So another thing that's very important is learn to enjoy your own company. You know, some people don't, but learn to enjoy your own company. When you know who you are, you can enjoy your own company. What I like to do early in the morning is, you know, have those conversations with myself, you know, talk to myself in the mirror. And it's, it's, it's very important because when you hold those positive self uh, talk conversations, it will boost your morale. You know, telling myself that I'm going to have a fantastic day, that I'm going to meet all these people, these people that I can help and, you know, thinking of the ways that I can help them. You know, it's very important to know who you are, to be comfortable in the skin that you're in. Okay. And when it comes to writing, just because someone else is writing a book a certain way, doesn't mean that you have to do it exactly the way that they are expressing their message. You don't have to do it that way. Always be you and strive to be the best that you can be. Strive to be the best that you can be. Because your message and expression in your book attracts your ideal audience to you. Those who have an ear to hear your voice. You know, you're not the voice for everybody, but you are the voice for your tribe. You know, so that's why you don't write a book for everybody and anybody or anybody that have money in their pocket or, you know, in their wallet or their purse. You write your book with your specific, your ideal audience in mind. Okay. You're not the voice for everybody. And it's a waste of time when you do it that way. That's why it doesn't make sense to, you know, compare yourself to, you know, another author or, you know, to have your message, write your message the same way or express yourself the same way that somebody else is expressing themselves. Okay. Always focus on what your uniqueness is. What solutions can you bring to the table to make somebody else's life a whole lot better? What can you bring to the table? Think about, think about your treasures. What do you have inside of you that can make somebody's life a whole lot better? Always think of how to get your ideal audience to step forward and receive the value that you're offering to change their lives. Create to energize your message. Okay? Don't have it dread, but create to energize your message. And I'm going to tell you, when you energize your message, there's energy that surrounds authenticity. Okay? There's an energy that surrounds it. And I'm going to tell you, people can tell, okay? You're not fooling anybody. People can tell. When you are in agreement with your truth, it's a powerful force, y'all. 
It's a powerful force when you are living your truth, when you are writing your truth, when you are expressing your truth. When you realize who you really are and the power of your message, you begin to change lives. You will change lives. And there's no doubt about it. You know, there's this woman who I had the opportunity to speak with. She was so disheartened, low self-esteem, you know, not seeing her value, but very talented, a very talented individual. I spoke a few words to give her directions to the next steps. And I'm going to tell you, within that week, it was as if a tornado had taken her into high energy. I mean, it was amazing. It was amazing. The transformation happened right before my eyes, okay? The woman is on fire. She's on fire. Her creativity has increased because she began to come into an alignment with who she is, her identity. Your uniqueness can change the trajectory of your ideal audience's life. And that's in your message. That's what you aim for. Changing lives. Changing lives. Why? How do you change lives? Because you are authentic. Your message is authentic. Okay? Your message are authentic. You are not a copycat. You know what you know. Okay? And it's a part of being you. It's your, it's your message. It's your story. Your identity. That's why you can't identify with what's on the outside of you. Those situations and circumstances. You cannot identify with those things. Because that's not you. It's just a moment of time that you went through. Something that you walked through. Okay? Because your identity is always on the inside of you. It's always on the inside of you. There are are opportunities to draw out your uniqueness and your innovativeness. There's great opportunities. So take time to write your message with your audience in mind. It's very important, y'all. Very, very important. Be open to solve their problems. Your audience knows, okay? They know when you really care about them. They know. You have to care about people. You have to care about your audience. You do, y'all. You have to care. You care to the point where you want to see their lives change. You know? They will seek you out because you are writing their language. You are speaking their language. A lot of times, you know, People look for the return. They look for the money return. Well, how much am I going to get uh, for this book if I write so many copies? And, you know, how much am I going to get? You know, that's well, that's that's all well and good, okay? There, there's a plan that you do, okay? All well and good. But that can never be your focus. Your focus should always be on serving your audience, bringing value to your audience. Find your uniqueness and exploit it in the service of others, okay? And I'm going to tell you, when you do that, your well will never run dry. Never run dry. Write your unique message with the understanding that you are serving your ideal audience well. But you're serving them well. Always aim to do that. Teach them things that will bring value into their lives, giving them that aha moment. Tell them something that they didn't think about. You can never assume that everyone knows something that you already know. You can never assume that. No matter how simple it is, don't ever assume that. It may be something that you don't view as a big deal 
which could make a world of difference in another person's life because they did not have that particular knowledge to open the door to their next level. But you have the keys to open the door to their next level. So think about that. Respect your uniqueness and drop comparison. Stop comparing yourself to the next author, no matter who it is. It doesn't matter. Because when you do that, you're not doing your audience. You're doing a disservice to your audience. Put it that way. You're doing a disservice because you're not living up to your full potential. If you just allow yourself to see who you really are and acknowledge who you really are and understand who you really are, receive your uniqueness. It's nothing to be ashamed of. You're unique for a purpose. Your uniqueness is your magic power. So leverage your uniqueness. Allow your uniqueness to shine through so you can accomplish your book writing goals. Allow that to, your uniqueness to shine through, y'all. It's very important. And because I'm going to tell you, you must have goals when writing your book. You must have goals because I tell you, books don't sell themselves. You have to have a goal. And when you put all of this together, you know, these nuggets that I've been sharing with you, it'll make a whole lot of difference in your life. Now, I'm going to tell you, my calendar is filling up fast. So if you're on the fence about, you know, getting started writing your book, won't you come and schedule that free 15-minute discovery call with me? And you could go there by going to this link, bit.ly forward slash generate revenue 2021. Again, that's bit.ly forward slash generate revenue 2021. And I'm going to tell you, okay, I'm going to tell you right now, you are brilliant and you have a story to share with the world. Your message is very important. Your uniqueness, y'all, is more than your outer appearance. When you grasp the understanding of that and really understand that you will change the trajectory of somebody else's life. So don't forget, book that 15-minute discovery call with me. I would love talking to you by going to bit.ly forward slash Generate Revenue 2021. And you've been listening to the Aspiring Authors Lab Morning Show. And I'm your host, Gertrude J. Chapman, your number one inspirational book coach. And I thank you for taking time out of your busy day to, you know, be with me today. And, you know, converse and, you know, listen to these nuggets that I've been dropping. And I hope that you activate what I've been telling you because this will change. Um, you know, it will change your life as you're on your book writing journey. So don't forget to share this broadcast out with your friends. And I look forward to seeing you the next time. Remember, this is your time. This is your season. This is your turning point. So have a great rest of your day.